In uh, September 1996, we here at the uh, Late Show made uh, history. Uh, what we did, uh, we broadcast an entire uh, one-hour uh, Late Show right here on the CBS without uh, commercial breaks. Yeah. I don't think it's ever been done before in the history of television. I don't whole, think so, no, I don't ground, think so. It was groundbreaking television. No commercial breaks. That, you know, that's a great idea, except it did uh, one thing. It left us with about uh, 16 minutes that we had to fill. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, uh, as you know, if you watch the show uh, Night to Night, we ran out of ideas about five years ago. So, <laughs> we needed to find things to do to fill those 16 minutes. So, wh what we did was, when we were in a spot, we always go to New Jersey and go door to door. <laughs> and talk to the folks there and see what they think about how we can solve our problem. Take a look. Is there anything you can do, any songs, any tricks, any stunts, any jokes, dance? Well, not really, but yeah. I've got a friend who can honk. You have a friend who honks? Yeah. Hey, Joey, come here. Joey, the honking friend. This is my, my name, Hello, Joey. Hi, honk. Joey, Harry, I understand you honk. Oh, yes, I do. Let's hear a little of it. <laughs> <laughs> And do you, do you have any? Uh, you have any home videos? You have a video camera? You yes, have a VCR? Do. You have any a home of, videos? Let's show us some home videos. Summer videos. Oh, great! Let's take a look at some of those. Do you mind? This is my daughter Lindsay to the left. She's five years old. We have my husband Bill and my son Daniel playing paddle ball. And to the left is my brother-in-law Anthony and my daughter Jackie, who is eight years old. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, from the Rocky movies, say hello to Bert Young. Paulie, is that the character? Keep up the good work. What we're doing here today is we're uh, going door to door trying to find people to help us kill some time. You know, you tell some uh, jokes, you, you have like songs, you, you dance. <laughs> no, nothing I'll do on television. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have hobbies? Uh, do you have uh, like recipes? Do you cook? Uh, sit ups, uh, push ups, uh, board games? Board games, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Board, board games, games sure. Right. Yahtzee! Yeah, all right, good. You know what might be fun if we made our own video right here? You know, something yeah. fun? Okay. Some, yeah, something cute, something to show your husband. Sounds good. Oh, hi, Bill. <laughs> Everything all right at the office? Bill? You got anything you can do? Any stories, any jokes? No. Take us into your office, show us around sure. City Hall? We'd love to. Hi, Elaine, how are you? Well, Davey, babe! <laughs> Elaine, good to see you. Good, how are you? Good. Should we get up and good. do a dance floor? Oh, you want me to do a little Whatever dance? Whatever you do. On the good. Oh, very nice. Uh, Take all of this you got. Yeah. To the candy shop. We're bomb, bomb, day. What do you have, hobbies? Mm -hmm. What kind of hobbies do you have? Oh, swimming, I can't show you that. Is there a pool in the neighborhood? Do you go to a club? Is there a Y? I swim at my children's pool. Where, and where do they live? Come on, what? I, this has got to be something <laughs> yeah, no, more. No, this, no, no. Yeah, you're not going to put this on CBS, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> How do you do, folks? Nice to see you. Ladies. <laughs> Bonus stupid human trick, and some more video highlights. We'll be right back. Are you looking to get whacked? Don't cross him. Kill him. Just kidding. Don't lie to him. This close. And whatever you do. Put one anywhere near me, he'd be saying goodbye to your teeth. Don't play ball with him. Joe Pantoliano, Easy Streets. Time Magazine's best show on television. Special night, CBS next Monday. Can you remember exactly what he said? Can't make it. Meet the ultimate protectors of the U.S. Constitution. Blair Brown, Regina Taylor. Thanks. Start CBS March 5th.
Tonight at 11 on 2 News. Brace yourself. Wild winds are blowing through again. Steve Rambo tells us what we can expect in the morning. Then, forgot to use a contraceptive. Doctors say certain brands of birth control pills can be used in an emergency to prevent pregnancy. We'll tell you which ones are on the list. And an eye-popping performance. Just how does she do it? Find out the secret to one of Letterman's stupid human tricks. Tonight on 2 News at 11. folks of one thing uh, in a few minutes a bit later in the show we have a, a bonus stupid human trick that you will talk about till the day you die <laughs> you know when i uh, signed on here at uh, cbs they said dave do us a favor do you mind we'd like your opinion on uh, everything and i said well what are you talking about i said well you know we screen dozens and dozens and dozens of job applicants each and every week here at cbs to fill the positions that run this machine. And I'm telling you, it's never been running smoother. <laughs> so I said, sure, I'll do whatever I can. So every now and then, CBS will send to my office for kind of a final interview and screening process young men and women who are applying for jobs here at the network. Watch this. Uh, what kind of job are you looking for? How old a guy are you first? I'm 27. 27 years old. So you probably, hey, you've been in the workforce quite a while then, haven't you? Uh, before you answer a question, mm -hmm. you just ought to be something very emphatic, something that lets me know that you're very confident, that you have a lot of ideas, and you're very confident about your ideas. Mm -hmm. I just want you to just take a pause, and, and before you respond, mm -hmm. boom! Here we go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You should be like a movie star. You, you just, you have... You know what I mean? You look like a movie star. Has anybody ever told you that? Uh, my friends think I should become a model. Yeah, a mo well, no, forget the model. I'm the modeling? Movie star. Uh, try, try this one. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kill you, bastards. Uh. Try that one, Todd. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kill you, bastards. Uh. I'll be you. You be me. Okay. Okay. How long have you been working at Macy's? Boom! Here we go! Yeah. Lucky! I was there for six damn years, pal! All right, you want to try it? How long did you work at uh, Macy's, uh, Peter? Two and a half years. <laughs> See, that's just the opposite of what we were talking about. And, uh, Todd, are you familiar with uh, Guys and Dolls? You ever in Guys oh, and Dolls? Sure, yes, back in high school. You know the music from Guys and Dolls? Yeah, I can sing you a yeah, tune. Yeah, let's hear a little. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good old reliable Nathan, 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 Nathan Detroit. Can you do a handstand? No problem. All right, let's see. You operate a computer? Yeah. What kind of computer do you operate? Oh, man, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have a family? Boom! Yeah. Yeah. That's good. If you're looking for action, he'll finish the spot. Even when the heat is on, it's never too hot. Why? It's good old reliable man. Uh, so tell me about your uh, very special brother. Uh, well, he's in Japan right now. He he's in Japan now, yeah. Teaches English. And, and he's uh, something else. And he's... He's your identical twin. Identical twin. twin. That's right. When was the last time you saw your twin brother, Joe? A little less than a year ago. A little less than a year ago. Well, get ready. We have a little surprise for you here tonight. <laughs> Say hello to your twin brother, Joe. Joe, come on in. Carlos? Joe? And and Carlos, I have a surprise for you and Joe. My twin brother Larry is here tonight. Larry, Dave, uh, Peter, what kind of salary are we talking about here? Boom! Lucky cash and plenty of it. All right. Uh, but, you know, I think in the grand scheme of things, sometimes it's probably a good idea that not everybody has a twin brother. Nathan, 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 Detroit. Uh, Mr. Molinito, thank you very much for coming in. You kiss my ass, cowboy. Hey, 
You already left, Chief. A special treat for you folks. Please welcome job applicant Todd Stevens. Todd, come on out. Quiet, good old reliable Nathan, 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 Nathan Detroit. If you're looking for action, he'll furnish the spot. Even when the heat is on, it's never too hot. Todd, we've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> to the oldest established permanent throating Tonight on Dave. We got a great show. The king of comedy, Bill Cosby, and the queen of pop, Tina Turner. And Wednesday, don't miss Howard Stern. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All night long, I've promised you something that you'll talk about till the day you die. Well, it's time now. Do me a favor, please welcome Kimberly Goodman. Kimberly. Are you excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Kimberly? Chicago. Chicago? What do you do for a living in Chicago? Well, I'm a cashier in a restaurant and I work at UPS at night. All right, good for you. Now, are you ready to do this? Yeah. Something people will talk about till the day they die. <laughs> now, I, I'm going to assist you now, if I could. Okay. I'll, I'll just say a little something to you and then you go ahead and do whatever you do, all right? Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Kimberly, did you hear that Michael Jackson had a baby? <laughs> Take a look at that in the slow motion instant replay. Oh my God. Thank you very much, Kimberly. <laughs> Good luck. Well, there you go. My thanks to everybody who helped out with Stupid Petrix, also Frederick and Nathan Lane. Later on The Late Show, Bill Cosby and Tina Turner. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Hi, Dave. The president of CBS sent you over a lovely gift. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness, Biff. Wow. You know what that is? Oh, wow. Fresh toast. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Kaboom! Dave lights up late night with his guests Bill Cosby and Tina Turner. Stick around for the fun following your local news, which is next.